Uchchata ma'am and it's really my pleasure to introduce Sunita a top yoga practitioner from India so being a former software developer who spent over 6 years with some of the largest global corporation she understand the challenges and stresses that modern day lifestyles present and how to channel the power of yoga asanas breathing practices and meditation techniques to manage them sunita has personally taught hundreds of students in her classes and workshops and this practical experience is backed by over 200 hours of yoga alliance certified training at hatha yoga from 1000 yoga and 100 hours of pre and post natal yoga from mindful birth australia so sunita's teaching style combines strength mobility flexibility stability breathing practices and my mindfulness teachings and techniques for a complete mind body re reset all classes are suitable for all levels of variations with and without props will be given so whether you are a beginner or a expert you can be assured of a complete and holistic experience so whether you are here to practice with our videos or considering joining our online classes my vedic roots is confident that you will find it helpful for a happy and healthy lifestyle with that i am handing over the session to sunida welcome sunida thank you japneet namaste everyone thank you so much for the my intro yeah uh, namaste everyone thank you all for joining vedic roots as japneet has explained everything about me and my sister sunita i'm very happy to be part of vedic roots as he has told about me like i have a couple of years of experience in yoga after i had a very stressful life in my uh, career of it as well i i I worked in IT for around six years, and I had to jump out of it as it took control over my health. I started yoga with a passion, and I continued it as a career. And I have like more than five thousand plus hours of experience in teaching yoga to different age groups, with respect of the gender. I handle any critical cases related to the health, or specifically related to back pain or spine related issue. or any knee injury which will be handled personally so coming up on with all this certified in prenatal and postnatal and specify and uh, working through very closely with the pregnancy and postnatal uh, new mothers i'm very happy to teach you all today and today will be a very very gentle flow a very uh, not a completely restorative practice but it is a vinyasa flow and it will be a very smooth going from the basic to a beginner level to the advanced level all are free to join You don't require any props like blocks or, or straps. You don't require anything. You just need a yoga mat. But be free to practice. And one thing is, which a disclaimer: like anybody have gone through any injury or a surgery, very recent one, you can avoid the practice, but you can observe the practice and just concentrate on your breath. So in my practice, I basically focus on the strength, the flexibility, also about the stability of the muscles. so it's not be just as as most of them think like yoga is just for the flexibility of the muscles it's not just that so it'll be going deeper towards the strengthening and the mobility and the stability towards the muscles and the joints so be free to choose the variation i'll be giving all the modifications required for all the poses so you can choose the modifications and you can enjoy the practice with with me okay just place a mat such that you can turn on your video i'll be happy to watch your practice you can turn on the video if not if you have your turning on the video make sure your entire mat is visible just like mine and you can set it down you can sit down you can start by sitting down for the practice sit in any comfortable posture with the spine straight rolling the shoulders back palms and knees and eyes closed taking a moment to observe your body
and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale down. And shoulder rotation, reverse it. Reverse the shoulder movement. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale down. Slowly move your shoulders up towards the ears. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, and exhale down. Slowly roll the shoulders back. Extending your hands forward, inhale and open your arms wider and exhale and close your arms. Just for warming up the shoulders and arms. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, lift your chest up, exhale, round your spine, head downwards. One more, inhale, allow your body to move freely and exhale down. And slowly inhale and lift both the palms up. And slowly start bouncing your arms there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Interlock your fingers, extend your arms up, lengthen your spine, take a deep breath, inhale here, and exhale and bend towards the right side. Stay for two more breaths. Deep inhale, exhale. One more breath. Inhale and back towards center. And exhale and bend towards the other side. Just flow with your breath. Listen to your body. Flow with your breath for two more breaths. One more breath. And inhale and back towards center. And exhale, release your arms down, interlocking your fingers back, opening your shoulder and just lift your neck up. Look up and exhale and slowly bend forward down. Extending your hands wider up. Lift it up higher, get your forehead down towards the floor. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Deep inhale and exhale here, breathe in and breathe out deeply. And gently inhale up, lift your chin and chest up, look up, lengthen. And exhale and release your arms. Rolling your shoulders back, coming on your palms and knees down on the floor. Palms and knees down. Make sure the hips and knees are in one line. The shoulders, elbows, wrists are in one line. And soften your elbows. Do not hyperextend. Just soften it. And from here, we'll just do the spinal movement to warm up the spine. Inhale, open your shoulder and chest. Lift your neck up. Look up, chest up. Hips higher. Neck up, lift it. Breathe in here. And exhale. And spine is rounded. Allow the spine to move naturally. Inhale up, chest lift it up. And exhale and spine rounded. Inhale up and chest lifted, neck lifted. And exhale and spine rounded. And slowly inhale and back towards the neutral spine. And extend your arms forward. Lift your chin up and chest up. Look up. Tighten your glutes behind. Take your stomach in. Push your chest forward. Bend your elbows slightly. And exhale, tuck your toes and going back towards Adho Mukha. You can bend your knees here, be free to bend your knees. Keep your feet hip distance apart if you have any back issues. Keep looking at your toes. If you're comfortable, you can straighten your knees here. Again, one more time, inhale, get your knees downwards, lift your chest up, point your toes back if you're comfortable, tighten your glutes behind. And exhale, lift up to Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. One more last time. Just move your shoulders forward, get your knees down, chin and chest up, look up, just flow with your breath, allow your body to move freely. And exhale towards Adho Mukha. And lengthen and stretch your spine. Stay here for three breaths. Keep looking at your toes or to your navel. Three, two, one. Gently inhale, look forward in between your palms and then walk your feet forward. And inhale towards Ardha Uttana, lengthen your spine, look forward, be free to place the palm on your legs, in your shin bone, you can bend your knees, only if you're comfortable, you can place the palms down, or else choose the variation, it's absolutely fine. And exhale and fold forward down, just interlock your elbows, this way, just interlock your elbows, and move your spine from side to side. Look downwards, do not close your eyes, just move your spine from side to side, for five. Breathe in and breathe out deeply. Four. Three. 
two. Release the tension from your lower back. And one. Good. Slowly back towards center. And inhale and lift both your palms up. Lift, release your arms and then lift both your palms up. Open your shoulder and chest as you take your arms back. Tight to the glutes. Take your stomach and lift your chest up as much as you possible. And exhale. Releasing your hands, taking your arms back, interlocking your fingers, extending your arms back, open your shoulder and chest, lifting your neck up, look up, chest up, lift it, and exhale, bend your knees first for the safety, and then bend forward down. Get your chest on your legs, head downwards, lift your arms up higher. Only if you're comfortable, go with the knees straight, or just micro bend it. Stay for three, two, one, and exhale and release your palms downwards, and inhale and lift up towards Advaltana. Halfway lift up, chest is lifted. And exhale back towards Dandasana to the high plank. It's very important to activate your core muscles. So stay in high plank with taking your abdomen in fully. Breathe and stay there for three. Shoulders and wrists in one line, toes and heels in one line. Two, one. And slowly exhale down towards Chaturanga. I'm showing the modification for Chaturanga. You can put your knees down. And slowly going down towards Chaturanga and then Urdhva Mukha lift up, chest is lifted. If you're comfortable, only lift your knees up or else just place it down. And exhale towards Adho Mukha. And then come and stretch your spine. Stay for three, two, one. And inhale and lift your right leg up, lift your right leg up, pointing your toes up and stay there for three, two, one. And slowly get your right leg forward in between the palms. Place your left knee down on the floor. Point your toes back. If you have any knee issues, place something cushion for your knees. And inhale to Anjaneyasana. Open your shoulder and chest. Lift your neck up. Look up. Chest up. Lift it. Breathe in and breathe out. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly inhale and back towards center. And exhale and twist the body towards the right side and look back. Your left elbow is coming outside of your right knee and you're looking to the foot behind. You give a good twist and stay there. If this is harder, if the twist is harder, just twist to halfway and stay for three. You can stay here. That's fine. You can also release your arms. This is another variation. You can choose it. Two, one. Good. Again, inhale and lift both the palms up. Inhale. It's a low lunge or anjaneya. And exhale, release your palms down. And slowly tuck the back toes, lift your back knee up, engage your back thighs, push your weight behind, and slowly inhale and come up towards Virabhadrasana 1. You can stay on your back toes. If you're comfortable, you can go with your fully with your feet downwards this way. You can go with your feet down fully, or else you can stay on your toes. Make sure the front leg, knee, and ankle is aligned to avoid any knee issues. Put your weight onto the front thigh, inhale and lift up. If this is harder, just get your hands to the heart center and stay there for three, two, and one. Good. Exhale and release your palms down. Stay on your back toes to Ashwa. And exhale. Take your right leg back to Dandasana. And going down towards Chaturanga or towards Ashtanga Namaskar, whichever is comfortable for you. And inhale up towards Urdhva. Exhale towards Adho Lengthen and stretch your spine. Two breaths here. One more breath. I'll show it to the other side. We'll work on to the left side. Inhale and lift your left leg up. Lift it higher. Don't worry if your knees is bent. Your knees can be bent. Just use your strength of your core muscles to lift your leg up higher. Stay for three. The right knee can be bent this way. Two. One. And exhale and get your right leg, left leg forward in between the palms. If your leg is somewhere in the behind, use the support of your hands to get the leg forward. So choose your variation. Okay, and back knees on the floor, point your toes up. And inhale and come up towards Anjaneyasana. Open your shoulder and chest, lift your neck up, look up. Breathe in and breathe out for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly inhale and back towards center. Exhale. You can do a gentle twist. If you're comfortable, get your right elbow outside of your left knee 
and look back by twisting deeper even if this is harder no issues just extend your hands and stay there for five choose the variation modifications as per your body type three two one and inhale and lift up towards anjaneya and exhale and release the palms down tuck the back toes lift your back knee up and coming up towards virabhadrasana one towards high lunge warrior one five strong legs four push your weight on your thighs three you can get your hands in the center as well two and one nice exhale and release your palms down feel that pressure get on your thighs it works on your legs strong foundation and slowly take your leg back towards dandasana strong core make sure you're not here you have to lift your spine parallel to the floor and your thighs are active in dandasana and slowly move down towards chaturanga and then towards urdhva and exhale towards adhomukha and in adhomukha try to get with your forearms down on the floor in a dolphin pose or in forearms adhomukha and stay there for five you can stay with your knees bent on your toes be comfortable three two one slowly put your knees down push your hips back go to child's pose take a moment stay here for three two one and slowly inhale and back towards center drink water if you want to you can continue the practice deep inhale and exhale what and slowly from there we shall continue with the practice again coming back towards adhomukha placing your palms down tucking the toes we'll do one more small flow of vinyasa and coming towards adhomukha lengthen and stretch your spine push the floor away use your strength of your abdomen by taking your abdomen in and use your strength of your legs to bear the weight of your body distribute your body weight to both your upper body and to the lower body don't just push your weight to the palms and slowly lift your right leg up and start bouncing your right leg for five four three be very gentle two even if your leg is here don't worry two and one and slowly inhale up exhale get your right leg forward in between the palms rotate your left feet towards the left side and inhale and come up make a cart wheel in your hands come up towards warrior 2 veer badrasana 2 so your right hand is extended forward the left arm is extended back and stay there for five if this is harder hand to the center four this is also good the strong foundation is coming from your legs two and one and slowly reverse your warrior good take your left hand on your left calf muscles extend your right arm over the ears lift upwards and stay there for three feel that opening in your abdomen in your sides of your right two one good and slowly inhale and back to center exhale straighten your knees and go towards wide leg trikona don't place the palm on the floor use your core strength to stay where you are extend your palms down finger tips softly touching the floor but do not touch the floor do not lean on to the floor okay use your core stay there for five four if you want to advance this portion this movement just extend your arms here and see how your core starts working three two one good and slowly inhale back towards warrior two take your hands back interlocking your fingers open your shoulder and chest lift up and exhale to halfway bend shoulders up and then gustasana stay there for three three breaths that's it even if you're here it's okay absolutely fine look at your right toes two it's a very good shoulder opening here strong legs again one nice exhale just release the palms down and coming back towards ashwa inhale here and exhale back directly without vinyasa you can skip vinyasa and go back towards adhomukha if you're comfortable do vinyasa as like dandasana chaturanga urdhvamukha and then towards adhomukha choose the variations absolutely fine we'll do it to the other side now lift your left leg up gently 
I'm showing on both the sides so that you'll be comfortable to watch me. You can get your left leg up. Slowly bounce your leg for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here. Exhale. Get your left leg forward in between the palms. Rotate your right feet towards the right side, right toes to the right side. Your heel and arc of the feet will be in one line. Make a cartwheel in your hand, taking your left hand, right hand back, left hand forward. Look at the left arm extended. You can also get your hands at the center. Stay there for five, four, Virabhadrasana two, this is warrior two, three, strong pose. Take your abdomen in, don't push your chest and abdomen, don't push your ribs out. Take it in, tighten your glutes, it's very important. Two, one, and the reverse warrior. There's a favorite variation as it helps to open up your sides deeply. Stay here for three, two, one, and slowly inhale back towards center and exhale. Straighten your left knee and exhale and bend towards sideways to wide leg trigona, triangle pose. You can avoid placing the palms on the floor. You can use blocks if you want to and stay there. Three more breaths. You can deepen this by taking the right arm over the ears, left arm also on the ears and stay there for three, two, one. Nice. Inhale and back towards warrior two. And exhale and locking your fingers. Open your shoulder and chest. Inhale here. Exhale and bend towards halfway. Stay here for five. Four. Strong legs here. Three strong hips. Two. And one. Nice. Slowly exhale. Release your palms down. Coming towards Ashwell, staying on the back toes. Inhale here. Exhale. You can directly go back towards Adomuka. Be free to choose Vinyasa here. Two breaths here. One more breath. And slowly inhale and lift your right leg up, lift up. And get your right knee towards the right wrist. Get your shin bone down towards the floor. A pigeon stretch. Get your left knee down. Point your left toes behind as far as much as far as, as possible. Get your hips down and slowly, slowly, you can be here today, no problem. Just stay here. If you're comfortable, go with your forearms down. If you're still comfortable, just extend your palms fully forward, fold it down and stay there for three. Can tuck the toes this way. Two. Feel that release from your glutes here. This is an excellent pose for sciatica pain, for the back pain. Two, just, just listen to your breath. One. You can stay longer if you feel like staying here. It's an excellent stretch you get for your back. And slowly inhale and back towards center. Getting out of the pose is also very important. So tuck the back toes first and lift your back knee up and slowly lift your front knee up and then take your leg back slowly and gently keep moving one knee at a time, releasing out the stress in your legs. We'll repeat on the left side. Lift your left leg up. And slowly get your left knee forward towards the left wrist. Your shin bone may not be parallel to the front edge of your mat. It's absolutely fine. And take your right leg behind. So you may be staying here today. It's absolutely fine. You can just continue to stay here with your forearms down. Only if you're comfortable, get your hips down fully. Breathe and stay there. Be free to stay here. Wherever you're comfortable, just breathe. Stay mindful. Connect yourself with the breath. Three. Just close your eyes. Connect yourself with the breath. Two. One. And slowly, slowly, getting on your palms. If you're comfortable, you can stay longer. Choose to be the way you want to be today. Tuck the toes, lift your back knee up, lift your front knee up, take your leg back towards Adho Just release out the stress in your legs. Two more, one more. And slowly, slowly, put your knees down. Push your hips back towards the heels. Take your hands behind towards the feet, head down and stay there. If your head is not reachable on the floor, use a cushion or a pillow to get that support for your head. You can also use yoga block. 
Stay there for three, two, and one. Slowly inhale and back towards center. Rolling the shoulders back, extending your feet forward. Move both the feet to one side and slowly extend the feet forward. Shoot your legs. Bend your right knee. We'll do a gentle fold, fold and a twist. And get your right feet to the inner thighs of your left leg. Flex your feet of your left. Flexing is taking your feet toes in. Be free to bend your knees of your left if you have any back problem. Make sure the spine is straight. Never compromise on the spine. Compromise on your limbs instead. Okay? Slowly inhale and lift both the palms up. I'm showing the modification here. And exhale and fold forward down. Hold anywhere in the leg. It may hold your feet or your leg anywhere. You may be here. Just enjoy the practice. Stay there. Stay connected. Breathe and stay there. If possible, try getting your forearms down. If you're comfortable, slowly, slowly straighten your knees. Stay for five. Four. Keep looking at your toes. Three. Two. One. And slowly inhale and lift both the arms up. Lift up. Breathe in. Exhale and release your palms down. And take your right leg outside of your left knee. We'll be doing Vakrasana. And you can just hold from your left hand. You can push your right knee inwards. If you're comfortable, get your left tricep outside of your right knee. And then place your right arm behind your spine. Flex your left feet there. Look backwards. Breathe and sleep. Choose your variation, which will find easy for you. Look back. This is an excellent one for your spine. If you have any back issues, back pain, it helps to just release out the knots there. Stay for five. Look back. Even the drishti, the eyes pointing behind, even the eyeballs moving is very, very important. It's, it, you have to train your eyes. You have to give that exercise to the eyes as well. Look, look far away from behind. Three, two, one. Slowly inhale, back towards center, and slowly release your leg out. Shake your legs. Other side. Bend your left knee. Get your left feet to the inner thighs of your right. You can bend your right knee slightly. Get your spine straight. Inhale and lift both the palms up. And exhale and fold forward down. Be free to straighten your knees as and when you're comfortable. But do not round your spine this way. Make sure you're lengthening your spine, looking forward. Your chin is extended forward. Make sure the spine is lengthened. That's so important to lengthen and stretch your spine. The health of the spine is very much important. Stay there for three. Keep looking forward. Two. One. Breathe in. Inhale and come up. Lift up both the palms up. And exhale. Release the palms down. And take your left leg. Place your left leg outside of your right. Twisting towards the left side. Vakrasana. If you're comfortable, you can deepen this pose by doing Ardha Matsendra as well. You can take the other feet towards the heels. This is just for deepening the pose. Get your right arm over your left. Look back. Don't lean on the palm behind like this. Don't lean. Stay, stay strong. Stay in the center. Stay here for five. Three. You can also hold like this. Two. Look back. Move your eyeball. Two. One. Don't lean behind. Inhale and back to the center. Exhale. Just raise your arms. Take your legs. And slowly sit in any comfortable posture, keeping your spine straight. Sit in any comfortable posture in a cross leg. This is Sukhasana or Vajrasana, Virasana, whichever way you're comfortable. Palms in the knees, eyes closed. Just end this practice with a little bit of breath work, mindfulness, and conscious breathing. Slow down on your breath. Listen to your exhalation. Slowly moving your awareness towards the breath. Observe and experience your breath as it moves through your nostrils. The cool
cool as passing in through your nostril as you inhale. And the warm air is coming out of your nostril as you exhale. Observe that. Observe it. <laughs> Thank you all everyone for joining me for the practice. Thank you all.